October. Who needs food, I guess? Might as well shoot some spectra. It's Polaroid week, and for today I want to try taking pictures with my Spectra. Um, I know the film has been discontinued, but I want to use the film I have so um, and get some experience with this camera before I can't anymore. Camera. This is the Polaroid Spectra that I inherited from my 94-year-old Aunt Frances. Um, and it means a lot to me because, of course, because it came from her and um, also because she shot with it. This camera was taken all over the world with her and her husband before he passed away. Um, and these are just some of the pictures that she took with it in Spain, Italy, Portugal, you know, all over the world they went. They went to Italy, back where he, he was from, her, my Uncle Joe. And um, I actually inherited it the day that Polaroid Originals announced that they were no longer going to be making the film for it so I was really uh, disappointed and upset to say the least because I really was hoping to make some memories with it myself. I bought up some Spectra film uh, and put it in my refrigerator. Got there's something in the viewfinder loose in there I don't know what it is it just it doesn't affect the pictures but it blocks my view I, I don't know how to get in there to even figure out how to fix the sonar I think is not working the autofocus um, because it doesn't, it takes blurry pictures. Um, if I try to take a portrait or try to take a picture of something uh, nearby, it doesn't focus on the the object. It focuses on the background instead. So everything in the background comes in focus uh, instead of the subject coming in focus. But it does take really nice uh, landscape pictures, and I love the black and white, especially uh, black and white spectra film. I'm not too crazy about the color spectra, but I am going to shoot with it for Polaroid week and have some fun with it, uh, despite these problems. But um, I guess I'll have fun with it while I can, so I hope you enjoy the pictures. Now, no, for my camera, it gets jammed, like a lot of other people. And uh, for me, the, um, the Mylar strip here is what's causing it. So when I remove that, I don't have any problems. It doesn't work for everybody, but luckily for me, I'm able to do this and I'm able to do it without having to be in dark light so I just open it, pop it open a little bit, peel that strip out, pop it back closed, open it up, here we go. So when taking a picture you gotta make sure the sonar um, is facing the subject and not being blocked by any subject because the computer inside uh, measures the distance from this to your subject and that's how they compute the focusing. So if something else is in front of it or if it's focusing on something else, your subject won't be in focus. I'm going to try the close-up on a tripod since it's so little light in here and see if that helps. I'm going to try the SX-70 now with the Polaroid Originals Color 600 film. Now in order for this film to be able to work inside of your uh, SX-70, you have to use one of these ND filters that you could buy from Polaroid Originals. Um, but this film, the reason I would like to use this film is because the ISO is higher, so meaning it could work in lower light, and I tend to take pictures indoors a lot. 
I also got this uh, Summer Fruits Edition to try out. It was on clearance on Polaroid Originals. And also, since it's still summer here pretty much, because in Florida we don't have fall, and it's 90 degrees outside, so for me it's still summer. So it comes with two. So you take the filter, <clears throat> and you take your pack of film, 600 film, and with the two feet sticking up, place it over top. Align it with the dark slide. You're going to push each one of these tabs, one, two, three, four, five, six tabs underneath. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, now it's ready to use. These are the only two tabs that'll be sticking out. Hopefully, it doesn't cause any problems. Okay, there's the dark slide. Now I'm going to try to take some pictures with it with the neutral density filter in there. Some black and white SX-70 film in the SX-70, some color 600 film in the close-up, and some black and white spectra film in the spectra, and then possibly some more color film. try to fix my Polaroid time zero one step that my mom gave me. Um, the shutter button sticks. See how it gets stuck. I just want to take this front face plate off to see what's going on under there. Just open this up and I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and very carefully stick it in here. on the other side. Don't want to break the plastic body. There we go. Okay, now, want to be very careful that nothing gets shaken off. So just take, lift this off. There it goes, it's stuck again. I'm not sure what that means. Let's take a look. I'm going to take this off. It gets stuck inside these copper pieces there. And when you push this in here, it comes back. So I don't know if something's broken. Now there's this piece here. That pushes it back. Try some <clears throat> handy dandy oil. It's not getting stuck anymore. So maybe the oil helped. I'm going to slide the button back on, make sure it's lined up. Snap it back in there. Seems to be working. It's not getting stuck. Let's try some film in it.
Well, that was fun, guys. Polaroid week is officially over, and I had a lot of fun for my first time participating. And even though I really couldn't get out and do much, I did get to go on that one trip that last day around the neighborhood and take some pictures, which was a really nice change from taking pictures in my backyard. I hope you all enjoyed the pictures as much as I enjoyed taking them. And I got to fix, or hopefully I fixed my my childhood camera, and it, it did work. So that was fun. And I got to use my 94-year-old aunt Spectra um, and my uncle's Polaroid close-up that he sent me and my SX-70. So um, I shot a lot of film, a lot of Polaroid Originals film, so they got a lot of my money this, this week. <laughs> tried to do a little bit of everything in my videos because um, I do like to do a little bit of everything. It's not just about the camera and not just about the photography. It's about uh, a little bit of all of it. And I really love um, fixing the cameras, bringing them back to life, and then shooting different films with them and sharing them with you guys and being a part of the community. It really means a lot. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoy it too. I'm going to put some more of the pictures at the end of this uh, video so you can st uh, stay tuned for that and also if you want to see more of my photography or more of what I posted um, for Polaroid week I'll post a link below to my Instagram um, so you can see which pictures I posted um, for the hashtag. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. Um, and Stay tuned for more videos to come.